Hey guys, so tonight's episode is of course sponsored by um, Impact Interior Materials and also tonight's co-host will be um, Miss Coco of Shop Talk. So I am waiting for Coco to join. And we'll go ahead and get started. Also, I have someone joining that with that has not um well, maybe a couple of somebodies that has not been on the racing scene for a minute. Um one of these people, I won't tell you guys who they are, but one of these people um, has been away for a really, really long time. This, this one particular person has been away for, shoot, I would say probably, um, uh, maybe three to, has it been three to four years? Maybe, maybe, maybe two to three years. And then this other person, um, they have been, only away for maybe like a year, a little bit short of a year. So, um, that, that's a good guess, but no, it's not savvy. Um, but you know what though, when I, you're, you're like the second or third person that has said something about it being savvy. So, you know what I may need to do? I may need to get savvy on, um, in a couple of, in a little while because everybody wants to know what he's got going on. Um, I know personally what he has. Has on. <laughs> I know personally what he has going on, but I think I need to maybe get him on and let him tell you guys what he's got going on. So, um, let me get my co-host and then let me get, um, one of the guys on that's going to join. So I may end up starting over cause I really don't want to, I think somebody reported the live. And um, I can only stay live for one hour now. I know, right? Everybody wants to know what he's what he's got going on. So he um, I may end up starting it over because I think somebody reported my live, and I can only stay live for one hour now. And I don't want us to miss any of um anything that we got going on because uh, I got two people that I'm gonna have join. So, just text my co-host, um, and she should be coming on in a minute. But I, but I think I'm gonna start over, cause like I said, when, since somebody reported it live, I can only stay live for one whole hour, and I don't want to miss. I don't want us to miss any time um, from being able to be live. So you know what I'll do? I'll get off. Um, call her and then oh no there she is she is so let me go ahead and bring my co-host on hey there ma'am hi oh wait a minute what's going on wait there, there we go all right <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to sit down and co-host with me tonight. Yo, no problem, no problem, no problem. Yeah, so I think this has probably been a long time coming, this co-host thing. This us co-hosting thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you are aware of the who the people are going to be that are going to come on. But I have not told the uh, the people watching who are who's going to come on because I wanted to keep them in suspense. But you know what? Somebody said the same thing that you said. Mm -hmm. uh, like a couple of somebody said the same thing that you said when I asked you to guess mm -hmm. who was going to be coming on and they've been away from racing a long time. And you said Savvy. And I, that right. probably is confirmation I need to call him after tonight's show and get him on because people want to know what he has going on. Thank you, Chuck. You're our, you're, you're our, one of our favorite guys oh, as well. Oh, my favorite guy. Yes. <laughs> Hey, but um, um 
Y'all need okay. to look at Savvy Long. Savvy been making his money. You know, he been slaying oxtails and, you know, uh, jerk chicken. So, you know, Savvy been busy, y'all. <laughs> Listen, if y'all... You know they want to know what's never, going on with him. Man, if y'all have never been to the Scotch Bunny, please go to Ben Hill and go get you some right. food. Right. It's the best. I'm just saying. He said Stick Man Jack, too. It is not Stick Man Jack, but that's a good guess. I just recently... Not recently. I had Stick Man Jack on probably maybe like hey, five months ago. Um, but it might be time to start getting all the guys pulling them out the woodwork. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it just might be. <laughs> so we, we, I thought, you know who else I might need to get on? Who's it? MJ. If I can, if I can nail him down, <laughs> don't don't do that. I see MJ made a post the other day doing a burnout. <laughs> if you get MJ on, you just make sure you put a disclaimer that these are not the thoughts and feelings of KP Rising Vibes. Um, <laughs> you know, these are solely the thoughts of the guests and we are not responsible for anything that comes out of the guest's mouth. I have to put, I have to remember that, you know, I, I, I interview MJ every year at the same time. Mm-hmm. And I have to remember that I have to say that I ain't got yes, to this man mouth. I think I, you know that's a good that's that's a good thing. I think what's understood doesn't need to be explained. But you are right because <laughs> some of our guests are. I think I think maybe we should do a collab and do a a look back at some of our funniest moments. I think that would be great to do like for New Year's. Like to <laughs> get on for New Year's Day. No, and... KP, do you remember that live I did last year? The last live of the year, it was you, me, low, and boost. Not no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, wait. I said I needed to get the people on who have been away from racing for a while. <laughs> 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 so I see. Oh boy! I think I need to go ahead and send a request because one of our guys is here. I see his. The other one is gonna be a little late, but here's the choose um, already. Yeah, I see. I see. I see. So, without further ado, <laughs> without further ado, I I think um our guy is coming in. So. One of the guys who has been away from racing for just a minute, not very long, has been Mr. Hensley. So we got Mr. Hensley on. And first, thank you for joining. We appreciate it. <laughs> so you have been officially away from racing. How long has it been now? Okay. We can't hear you. What's going on? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. About a good solid year. Stepped away for a good year. Okay. Okay. So what's been going on that year that you've been gone, Mr. Hensley? Uh, you know, carving down, making little changes, uh, wedding, kids, you no, know, just life. Look at okay. everybody getting married. That's so sweet. Right, right. So <laughs> even back before you got married, let me tell you what was my favorite. I mean, I love you for the racing, right? But what was my favorite part was when you used to come on and talk about them kids, baby. I used to be rolling. <laughs> oh yeah, man. It was my little baby boy right here. He has grown so much. Right. Hey. Hey, um. <laughs> so, um, so you said you the kid. Wait, I hear an echo. I don't know if it's... no. Here's you got your hand on the bottom of your phone, like on your speaker. Oh, my bad, my bad. Okay. It's done. So, dealing with the kids, got married, made some changes on the car. Um, you care you care to tell us? Can you tell us anything that has changed with the car? I know that's you know like a racing rule that you may not uh, want to say anything but well I had I had a I had a nice setup in it last year which everybody mm -hmm. saw. 
uh, got rid of that setup and I went with a, a different setup. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted something that I, that, I, that I could actually build my own. So I went with a personal built engine. Yeah, so it's it's okay. It's it's, it's decent, but no, we'll see. I'm trying to get somebody to lock in before the year over with. Won't nobody do it, but it is what it is. I guess next year we'll see. Hmm. Stedman said, you said he's driving next year, too. Stedman. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, he got a nice combination coming to uh, coming together. So, you know, since you're a box Chevy guy, my question is, and we, we talked I'm about sorry. this a little earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Larry. Wait, what did Larry say? Larry said he got a big block now, 632 with a twin turbo. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I, I never go big block. Never? Never. Why? Man, we use big blocks and airboats and stuff like that around here, man. I, I never put no big block in my car. I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? I just, I feel I don't need it. Okay. okay. But if I ever wanted to go big block, I could have easily went big, big block. But mm -hmm. no, nah, I don't need it. So, now since you're, you know, you're, you're a box Chevy guy and you're back, you think you're ready for granddaddy? Who, who, who is granddaddy? <laughs> you don't play. You know who granddaddy is, Boost Doctor. Boost Doctor. <laughs> hey man, all I can say is, man, whatever God have in store next year, man, I don't know what you, I don't know what's going on, man. You got trust in the Lord, you know. <laughs> we know not the time or the hour, but one of y'all. Yeah, you know not the time or the hour, <laughs> man. You know, yo. I don't know. <laughs> so I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go out there calling them out or nothing like that, but you know if if we in the same area, if we just so happen to have to run each other. I ain't gonna be the one to back down like some of these other people, you know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that, you know, with all due respect, I'm gonna leave hmm. it at that. Yeah. Hmm. I find that when people say with all due respect, usually they're saying something right before that disrespectful a little bit. Oh no, but no, I don't, I don't do all that. I don't do all that. <laughs> I'll do all that. <laughs> we seen earlier that Hot Rod and Lulu were on live looking for smoke and no guts, no glory. No, they ain't. Oh. They don't want, they don't want to do that. Hold on, wait, let me, let's, let's figure out something. When is no guts, no glory? Next week. Uh, Is it the 7th through the 12th? It's, no, 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 no. The, it's the yeah, 7th through 12th, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, yeah, I won't be able to go down in no way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to go the opposite way. So, yeah, December pretty much, like, I'm all scheduled out of December. Okay. Yeah. But is that a possibility? Hey, man, you know, you got to trust in the Lord, man, whatever the Lord have in store for you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the Lord have in store, man, you know, if it happen, it happen, you know what I'm saying? If it don't, it don't. But, you know, like, how I look at it, this, this, and this is how I feel about the whole big grand racing thing. If you're not out there trying to race the fastest guy, like you're really not learning nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Carolina does say boost out. They got people calling on Jesus. Mm hmm. Here's the yeah. ask you. There is, there's always been this debate. Um, <clears throat> a lot of old school racers have this uh, this ideology, but I wanted to know what you thought of this. They hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who did it? He is, man. Man, he fucking jumped and fell off the table or some shit. I don't fucking know. He'll be all right. My bad. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have people. I don't bother. Um, okay. So, like I said, a lot of the old school races have this ideology, and I wanted to know what you thought of this. They don't think that turbo cars and nitro cars should race each other. They believe that, although in actuality this is kind of true, they believe that turbo cars. Oh, 
Oh. Still believe that turbo cars had the advantage over nitrous cars and that they should never grudge because they consider an unfair race. What are your thoughts on that? I feel there's a lot of nitrous cars out there that's uh, not set up right. So you really can't say, okay, a turbo car is supposed to run a nitrous car because I got a lot of nitrous cars down here that are race a turbo car all day. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to have your combination together. You got to have everything right. And there's a lot of people, they get big motors, a bunch of nitrous, throw it on there, and they expect it to work right. She just never worked right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. oh. So... So you just don't, you really think it doesn't matter? No, I, I personally don't. You know, like like I said, like we got a couple, we got a few nitrous cars down here at the shop and shit, we'll try a lot of turbo cars. Shit, we done tried a lot of turbo cars that we don't want. It just, you gotta, you gotta know, you gotta know what you're after and you gotta set, set up your car for that. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't go out there with a nitrous car with a, with a 456 gear and expect to run a turbo car to the quarter mile like that makes no sense you know what i'm saying makes no sense the ceo lair said they have cheap converters <laughs> <laughs> um, so <clears throat> excuse me also my next question <clears throat> when it comes to turbo cars what are your thoughts when you have people who have turbos. Like, in my opinion, I think that turbos are very touch and go. They are very, very temperamental. Um, I finally got your nitrous because I used to be turbo completely. But anyway, um, do you? What are your thoughts when there are people who have turbo cars and they can never get them right? Come see me. Come see me. It's just that simple. I look. I just made this comment. Um, see, when I was in Orlando, man, it's a lot of turbo cars out there that they got some shitty tunes in them. You can hear them. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you do this stuff every day like I do, like you could hear the cars. Like they cars be so messed up. Like you you got some guys going out of track. With turbo cars, I'm like, man, god damn, dude. I'm like, shit, I built this motor. The, the new the new setup is in my car. I built this motor. Like, when I say I literally built the motor, cranked it up, threw that motherfucker on a dyno. Like, we have not street tuned it. We ain't did no other tuning to it besides on a dyno. And that sucker went down the track easy. That, 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 was, uh, that was like You said what now? I said that was definitely. A I mean, KP, mind you, Hensley doesn't have a carbon fiber hood. He doesn't have a um a, a fiberglass hood. He has the original. Well, I had that. I had, had <laughs> the steel hood that was on the car, and mm -hmm. it decided that it didn't want to be there anymore. It went its separate ways. So no, just, just a lesson learned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now as far I'm I'm still left to see your Larry comment talking about the shitty <laughs> I'm sorry. That... <laughs> so let me ask you this. This question was asked to me, so I decided that maybe I should ask a turbo person. When you have a turbo powered car the type of transmission you have matter like I don't know if that's a silly question for you but um I, I think it does I, I think I think it does depends on like you know what I'm saying like again like if you're gonna run it on a rim or a radio you know what I'm saying like you you want you want to try to get Yo, traction, you know what I'm saying? I, I look at it as a thing of traction. Like, I went with it, like, fuck it, I don't, I don't give a shit about telling what the hell I got. Mm -hmm. I went with a two-speed two 400. You know what I'm saying? So, I got a, I got a couple of 80s sitting out there in my garage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and a PTC converter. You got to have everything working right. If you ain't got everything working right, hey, look, I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, I went a two-speed 400 with a PTC converter. And the thing is, you know, 
I did it that way because I felt like, okay, first gear, even with an 80, which is pretty much the same as a 400, like my first gear, I always had inconsistencies with that 480. With that two-speed, I know one thing, the car really ain't going to spin unless I just overpower it. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like, you know, you got, it all depends on how, like, how you match your combination up. It's all about combination. You ain't got the right combination, man. It's like, okay, what you doing it for? Right. That's how I feel. But, you know, other people, they have, oh, man, my, my granddad already said, man, you can have more money than brains. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people got more money than brains out there with this racing I stuff. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Right. So my next question is, you, you kind of hinted to it, but it sounds like the car went on a diet as well. Shit, man! Look, <laughs> I scaled my car. Check this out. I scaled my car before I went to Orlando. With me right. sitting in it, my car was fifty-one sixty. Right. That's that's heavy. That's that's over five thousand pounds. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, like, if I could get it to four to five hundred somewhere up in there, I'd be happy. Don't get me wrong. But you know, my little nine hundred horsepower is enough to move five thousand pounds. So. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I ain't complaining about it. Hey, I, KP, know, I know what it'll do the quarter. KP, watch, watch it, watch out. You don't see that nose coming through the camera. Watch out. <laughs> it's going. What up, Larry? Hey, yeah. What's up? Hey, what up, bro? Hey, I hope you got a goddamn metal jacket on your nose, talking boy. You on this nah, one. man, Sorry, like, boy. whoa, bro. No, nah, okay. bro, like like real shit, bro. I, I really did just scale that car uh, before I went to Orlando. It was fifty one. Don't no, forget, I put just put a cage in there thing in it, so it, it was fifty one sixty. Well, I, I like I like that transmission. Now you know that transmission about ten thousand. You know that ain't no that ain't no little, little boy. Hey, bro, be right quiet, there. bro. Hey, yeah, hey, hey, man, it. chill out, bro. You said it. I ain't saying that. You the one that told him. You should have told him you had a four L eighty with a missing first gear. That's what you should have told him. It ain't <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm just saying now, so I, I'm listening. I'm talking. I'm here. You the one that said that. Hey, bro. Hey, I got, I, hey, hey, I got one in my side you too. Talk, you just talk, talked about it, right? Hey, I'm just yeah. the thing is though. See, he's telling all this, and I'm adding this shit up. It don't sound right to me. I ain't gonna talk about it on the back, on the front line, but I'm gonna I'm gonna text and tell you what. What I, I, I'm gonna just text and tell you, cause yeah, uh, I know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, bro. I ain't got nothing but a little old nine on horsepower, two speed, four hundred, a five three with twin six sixes, bro. Like, if a mother can't get past that, they got a problem. Oh, okay. They got, they got a problem. I see. You. I, I got, oh, okay. I, I gotta get out here, y'all. You know, I'm trying to make sure the phone, don't, the, his nose don't come through the phone and he make my face and shit. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's giving. It's giving lightning striking from somewhere know, and off right? in the distance. Yeah, yeah. It started with the sun falling out the doggone camera. The bed. His, you his, his I'm, right I'm going to tell you how I know you won't hear lying about your weight. No, no, I'm dead ass. I'm, no, hold on, hold on. No, I'm dead ass about my weight, like real shit. Like, I'm not lying about that. Like, I'm lying about the, about the motor, about the fire three. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't, but I ain't lying about the weight. I you don't know, know if he really did weigh fifty one hundred, like for real. Really, and you know, Hensley is one of the only guys. He's not the only guy, but he's one of the only guys that I have ever seen put his car on the scale and show us the number. Well, I was getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem showing what it is, now, man. That, that, that's funny because that was a little different in that video that I have. Yeah, see that that was that was the old like it was. Yeah. Whatever it was, like when I sat in it the last time I did, it was like forty eight, forty nine hundred mm. at first. But before I went to Orlando just now, like we added some more stuff to it or whatever to help it out. But it's like it's fifty one sixty with me sitting in it right now. Right. I mean, yeah. you have a bigger engine and you got to. No, 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 no. Stop. Look, look. Stop. Stop saying all uh, that. No, that, that, that's not I true. That's not true. I know what true. I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. I have an LS. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Larry, Larry on your Just trail, Hens. Look at Larry. Yeah. <laughs> hey. So, in 2023, what can we expect from you, um, Team Hensley? 
What can we expect? I'm so sorry. Man, I just hope everybody on a 26 inch tie come ready. That's that's about the best thing I can say. Yeah, like 2023, like my setup right now, like I know what it do. And I don't have to do nothing to my car until shit, whenever I don't like I'm 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 done with the car, you know what I'm saying? As far as power wise, I'm I'm like really done. And it's like I'm just ready to race, you know. <laughs> so now it's time for you to go get your lick back. Lick back with who? Your nemesis. DNA of Megatron? Yes. Man, so I look, I, I, I wanted to run back. him. Uh, like, like, low, low pulled up on side of me in Orlando. Like, he tried to be slick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we was in the track. He tried to be real slick. And she, he gonna pull up a side. I'm like, boy, I'm like, stick, man. Look at, look at low trying to be slick or whatever. I'm like, no, I ain't gonna do him like that. I'm gonna let him go ahead and do what he gotta do. And I'm glad I did because when he left, he broke out spinning. I'm like, yeah, this would have been over in the six foot. So I let him slide. So he need to be thankful. Wherever low at Lorenzo. That's his name, Lorenzo. Lorenzo. His name is Lorenzo. <laughs> so he need to be thankful. <laughs> I let him slide because I cause I wanted too bad. I wanted too bad. But uh but like but like really though, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it back with, with DNA and them soon, like whenever. You know, it ain't no rush with me. They know my word golden, man. Like whoever I raise, they know my word golden. We don't need no DP man or nothing like that. Like, look. This is what we're going to do it for. This is what the lock-in is. You ain't got to send me nothing. You ain't got to send nowhere. Look, my word golden, your word golden. That's that. That's how I am. That's, that's, that's far in, in, in between there. But, yeah, definitely. I just, me personally, I like watching y'all race. I, that, I, I really get a kick. I, every race that you've had with that car, I got it in my phone. I don't know what it is about mm -hmm. y'all race. I love watching y'all race. Yeah, that hurt that first like, time though. Every Ooh. time, it's always this. This you, this Megatron. It's just always this. Then, uh, that that first time, Coco, man, shit, that little old bit of turbo, man, the motor just too big, the turbo can <laughs> keep up, man. I was like, damn. I was like, ooh, that hurt. That hurt that first time. The second time, it was like, eh, car spent, whatever. I won't worry about it. I, didn't, I really didn't give a damn, but that first time, that shit hurt. <laughs> So, Mr. Hensley, you know I'm really uh, into giving people their flowers while they are here to smell them. The one thing, not not the one thing, one of the things that I really personally love about you and your racing style and your whole program is that, just like you said, your word is your bond. You don't get on here doing all that screaming and yelling and capping. And it's just, if you say we're going to race, you say we're going to lock it in, you're going to be there. And that's just what it is. You don't have to do all that going back and forth. You don't do all the extraness. Um, and uh, that's just that's just how it goes. So that's one of the things I love about you. Yeah, that's how I am. I just be ready to race, man. Like I just hope twenty twenty three don't bring too many. Oh man, you gotta give me this. You gotta give me that. Now you get your side to them, whatever lane you want. That's the only thing you get for me next year. Ain't no more business. Mm -mm. So we're not giving so no more freebies in 2023. No, no. <laughs> no. I wish I, I wish I could make it to that, that little deal they got going on on the 14th in Orlando. I wish I could make that it was to kind that. Kind of a but, short notice thing. So yeah, I'm out of the can't. area on this side. You know, yeah. it, might a little bit, it may be easier for them, but you're like, what, 14 hours away? I'm like 11, 11, 12. Well, I'm talking about with the trailer. Yeah, like, yeah, like with the trailer, 11, 12, yeah. Oh, I, I still go 85 with that motherfucker. She said, said Thanksgiving is over. <laughs> All right, exactly. Hey, that's, that's over with. That is over with. <laughs> Someone asked, when's your new merch going to be available? Hey, I got um, I got some. Let me see. Wait, let me I got some new merch, man. I just got a. I just got a fucking uh. <laughs> damn, hold on, hold on. He didn't hear me, KP. <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh man. I ain't got a, ain't got a hoodie what? outside. Did you get my <laughs> He done left the uh Oh shit, that ain't no damn hoodie. What the fuck? I don't know what a damn hoodie is. It. 
But I got some new merch, man. I got a new design and everything, man. Just, you know, just waiting on. I got to make one little change to it. And it'll, it'll be ready to, to give out. You'll never get my shirt. What is it here? You heard it. She said she never got her shirt hands so we need to make that happen. Well, I got I got to get some more because I got, I want to do everything with the new stuff. I'm going to get the shirt since 2020. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. How can I stand it? Well, here? make sure that when you. When you get the new shirt, so we can post them. Yeah, I got you. I like that. Nice. Okay. So give okay. Me the, my shoes. Yeah, my bad. You know, the, the lighting a little messed up with it, but. Jason X. So we got a Jason X. In the big rim game, and a Jason X over there on the small time. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I, you know, I dedicate my to my little brother. His name was Jason, so everything I do be pretty much for him, you know. So that's how that is. That's where that, that's where that Jason from. His name was Jason, so yeah, that's that's why I named the car that. Hensley, where's the next race? The, the next what now? Race. Say what? Come again. Where's the next race we can catch? Say what? Come again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. The next one they go down. See, I'm trying to look. I'm going, I'm going racing this weekend. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm putting the car on the uh, drag pad. We're going to race this weekend. Got a lot of them uh, radio cars up toward my hometown this weekend. So we're going to race up there this weekend. Do you ever go to the next, Huh? You ever go to the pad? Hey, hey, hey look. <laughs> Y'all don't want to come out there, man. <laughs> I be trying to tell them, boys. You ever been to the pad before? Mm -hmm. Hey, look, that shit is live. Killers be at. Man, look, they had, they had, they had like fucking uh, eight and ninety, eight and ninety cars out there when it was Sunday night at NASA. It's like not too far from the pad, but like eight and ninety race cars out there Sunday night on the street. On the street. Right, street. And then they um they bring their own prep. And they put down their own prep. Cops don't say nothing to them because they, they they in their little area. And they get it. When we was down there for Pear Show last year, um, a couple of people from Pear Show went to the pad. Oh, really? That's what's up. Yeah, see, this year, uh, man, they got, they got pad wars going on, but it's like pretty much like uh, they're they not going to post it. They're going to have it. It's like, hey, look, I'm going to call you. Hey, look, man, this is going to go on next weekend or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that shit started like 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. And like once you park, you can't leave again until nighttime when it's over with. That's just how many people be out there. That's like our race street in Jacksonville. The police don't come out there unless something drastic. Yeah. Has, if it's an accident or something, it, they, they know they back there. Not necessarily legal, but they don't mess with them. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, no, they don't, they don't mess with you out there. The pad, kind of like like Mexico. <laughs> yeah, see, this, see, you go, you go, see, everybody else call it Mexico. See, like Mexico, oh look, man, we don't know where y'all going. You know what I'm saying? See, the pad, like, look, we know you motherfuckers. At. Like, we gonna come out there, and make sure ain't nothing going on. Y'all motherfuckers ain't fighting on this and shit, man. We gone. Like, get through racing. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it is. Like they'll like clear it out. We go to another spot and shit. They'll go to the other spot after two, three hours. We go right back to the original spot. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they be they don't be tripping down here like that. Now here's I have a, a just a change in the the topic. I have a question for you. <clears throat> um, it's a two part question. Do have you did before you went in the hibernation? Did you have? Did, He's getting races before that. No, what? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get the last part. Say what? Said, before you went into hibernation, did you have difficulties getting races before you know all of that? You talking about with this, this this new setup or the last setup? The last setup. Did you have difficulties getting races? It was hard. You know what I'm saying? It was like, see, we tried to race a car, but in in a way, in a way, I'm kind of glad. A lot of I'm kind of glad some people didn't accept races with their car. Because when I first put that motor in, like I knew something was off with it, and uh, don't get me wrong, it made some good numbers, it made a good made a good ET or whatever. But we just knew something was off with it, and I'm kind of glad that like I got rid of that one and did my own. You know what I'm saying? So 
But it wasn't, it wasn't that bad at first. Everybody looking at it like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, it's okay for what it is. But it's got a lot more in it. But I just knew something was off with it. So I'm kind of glad nobody really just accepted into my call outs with it. But this new motherfucker, though, shit. Now, I put that motherfucker together. <laughs> she in Orlando last two weeks ago. <clears throat> Have you had anyone drawing you yet? Uh, what's what's uh? Shit, that was my first pass all year, man. The, uh, I think that's the the blue donk Hollywood custom donk. The blue donk with the white top. Got the dread Hollywood custom that donk right there. Mm-hmm. Like when I first got to the track and pulled in the stage lane, they like they tried to they tried to race me or whatever. But I told them like, hey, look, man, it's my first pass. You know what I'm saying? Y'all done got y'all test pass. Let me get a test pass. Like that's all I needed to want. I'm like, after that, there we could go. Other than that, there then nobody else come to me and be like, hey, look, man, I want to try you. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I'm gonna miss that shit. There, that ain't happen. Right? No, that ain't happen. No, 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 no. That ain't that ain't gonna happen. I don't decide that shit ain't gonna happen. Okay. Who is your biggest arch rival? Megatron. <laughs> <laughs> I say me and L. I, I wanna get the, man, I wanna get them back so bad. Oh, I wanna get them back bad. Oh, I wanna get them back bad. Yes, uh I, like D and L and uh and Bruce Nell. Oh, I wanna get them back bad. <laughs> yeah. Look, man, I don't really care about like. Look, I don't mind racing whoever, but between anybody out there as far as an arch rival type thing, like man, that motherfucking big low shit. I want to get him back bad. Him, him, and, him and Bruce and them, man. I want, I want to get them back bad. Bruce got that belt. I'm like, shit, I had just got that goddamn belt. Man, lost on a damn technicality, man. Like shit. Come on, I gotta get that back. I think, in my opinion, I think you. What do you think about? Uh, you think maybe you should get Bruce some white privilege? I don't give a shit. What the hell, Bruce Ramin? <laughs> shit. You just want to be. Fucking, he can stack both of them motherfuckers up all I can. I'll run them at the same time. Shit. <laughs> I don't give a damn. <laughs> Mm-mm. All right. Well, you answered my question because I was going to ask you who you want to draw on first, but. Now we know. Oh, <laughs> oh Skitter Pack ain't beat me. Stop it, there. Stop it, there. You talking about some four, five years ago? Stop it, there. <laughs> Who do you think is uh, the most feared car in Big Rim Racing? Depending on how you look at it, you talking about hard okay. tires or you talking about twenty four and six? So you can't. Give you me can't. Both. Okay, twenty four and six. I'm gonna say Boost Doctor. Okay. Mm-hmm. Everybody's got a boost talking. And I, I'm the reason, look, and the re- I, I bet some people like, man, why can't say Grand Nasty? I can't say Grand Nasty. You know what I'm saying? Grand Nasty is a different kind of car. But Definitely they got doing boost talking? Shit. That motherfucker, that man. Everybody's got him. They got them boost talking nasty, man. Okay, I... now, now we're going to switch over to the hard ties, the 26 inch hard ties. I'm going to say Don't Zilla. Like, he came out, he made a statement, he said what he said, like, hey, look, you got to respect it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you cannot go out there and, like, not respect that car, because the car just works. You know, every time I see Dunk Villa race in my head, I don't know what movie it's from, but I always be saying, why y'all go over there messing with them good people? Friday. <laughs> hey. Why you over here bothering these people? Yeah, no, no, see, see, look, man, look, I'm not saying Playboy's scared. Like, Playboy ain't scared of them. It, I'm, they asked me my opinion on who I thought was the most feared person in Big Grand Race. I gave them my answer. No, ain't nobody scared to cut the chicken in the box. I, and the reason I'm, the reason, I'm going to tell you the reason why I say ain't nobody scared to cut the chicken in the box. Simply because they have to get the, they, they have stuff to work out with their box shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know it. Everybody else know it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying nothing that's, that's wrong with talking bad on them. They have something to figure out on that car. You know what I'm saying? The car just not working like it should. Right. And that's, that's that. You know what I'm saying? But don't Zilla like that motherfucker come out. That bitch do the same thing every fucking time. 
And like, and, and my don't opinion, it with a whole NASCAR pit, pit crew. Exactly. And an it elevated and it's cool. trailer, and it's it just like, it's a, it's a show. I just sit there and watch them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like yeah, they they come they come with it. They come they they got damn they be coming with too much though, man. I be like, God damn, I can't I can't do all that that now. I was I telling you all on live the other day or last week that Donkzilla is on some technology that's far beyond everybody else in beat real racing. Um is he's working with things like I truly believe that Donkzilla had somebody that race like formula one type <laughs> build his shit cause he and there's nothing wrong with the fact that he went above everybody else's pay grade cause I think that if you have the money do what you do with your car you know um, but it's just that you know eventually somebody's gonna catch up you know okay look let me, let me stop you right there this is my thoughts on this is my thoughts on it. Like, look, not talking about nobody else's car. This is my thing with Donkzilla car. And every race that Donkzilla done had, I, I've been sitting back all year watching and paying attention to everybody fucking racing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I know how I need to come out. I feel that if, if they were to race winter to fly car. I fear they will lose. And I'm, I'm, look, wait, let, let me tell you the reason why I feel that way. I feel that way because winter is fucking consistent. Like, that car, that fucking car goes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't fall on its face up top. The fucking car works. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody else that, that that's ran Donkzilla to me has not made an A to B pass. That's me. So all you gotta do is go back and watch the races. Like, oh, I mean you're right because remember everybody in the ran has not made an A to B pay. You know, so yeah, you're right. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to that. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be <laughs> yeah. you know. Oh, I'm I sorry, just found out. My bad. Go ahead. You know, I just found out. Um, not I think it was a couple of nights ago that uh Playboy has beat Dunkzilla twice. Uh, oh, that was his old setup. That's when the car uh, ran. Uh, That's what he said. He yeah. said he beat it twice. I'm like, uh, hey, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. know. Like, like you, 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 you take your hats off the Playboy, but being real about the situation, like if something hadn't happened to Donkzilla Car, that race was over. That shit was done. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit was done. Like right. as as a racer, you know not to live until the race is over with. Which is what Playboy did. Kudos to that fucking win. But being realistic, like, dude, that fucking race is over. I feel like if Playboy had spent against Donkzilla, I think Playboy would have beat him that race also. Mm -hmm. If they if they would have made an A to B pass, both of them made an A to B pass. I feel Playboy would have fucking I ran the car. Mm. Well, I can't wait to see them race again. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I me know too. Donkzilla oh, so had on his lit back. He oh yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you do. But the thing you, you can't take nothing from the car. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, you gotta be on your, you gotta be on your shit to run Donkzilla. You have to. Boy, listen. So one thing about it, that car gonna fucking go A to B every fucking time. If you ain't got shit on the top end, like why bother? You know what I'm saying? Like if you ain't, if you can't make no power on the top. Why bother? But you know what? Go ahead. Go. Go. We always do that. Go ahead, KP. <laughs> Who are you looking forward to see? Um, to seeing. Uh, go down the track in 2023. Other than yourself, of course. Um, uh, shit, man. I want to see everybody. Honestly, man, you know what I'm saying. I want my my thing. I want to see everybody go. Like it's not it's not just one particular person. You know what I'm saying. It's like shit, man. I I, I like the racing part of it. You know, I want to see everybody make good passes. You know what I'm saying. Like I want to see everybody race. I want to see people cars down all fucking year. Like they get kind of bored. You know what I'm saying? And that was, that was my thing this this past this year right here. Like, watching everybody, man, that shit was getting boring. So I'm like, what's the fucking point of me rushing this shit back out? I'll rush it out for the classic and be done with it. Right. Um, Big Block, Big Lord, that's not true. Seal, Larry, uh, burped him this year. But Go ahead, Hens, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> yeah, man, like, my favorite... If, if if I could if I could change the way you ask that question, I'd say my favorite car. Oh, and don't master too. Go ahead. My favorite car would probably be 
watching CAD races or watching CAD car. I'm going to tell you the reason why. I feel that CAD pretty much puts together probably the best fucking combinations. But his shit never fucking worked. Like, bro, like, you got you got it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, god damn, bro. I want, I want to see this motherfucker go. You know what I'm saying? But he never could get, never could get it down the track. Like, that's the only thing I, that's the only thing I dislike about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if so, if you was to ask that question again, which single particular car you want to see me go down the track, I want to see some of the cans go down the track. Thing that's about it is, like, what's crazy, like you said, Cad got all of the recipe. He got everything. Yeah, yeah, he do. But the only problem is somebody ain't stirring it right. Somebody using some, ain't using no Lowry's. Something wrong. Tell Cad to bring that turbo stuff down here. Let me, I'm gonna show. We, we'll show him how to do that shit. Bring that turbo shit down here. We'll hey, bring it for you, Cadric. If you listening, bring that turbo shit down here. If that bitch don't fucking work. You get your money back, straight up. <laughs> and we just I'm tuning gonna, it. I'm gonna send him this clip. I'm gonna send it to him. Sure will. I'll hold up. <laughs> just saying, <laughs> Mister Hensley. Go ahead, Cope. You had a question. Oh, um. But yeah, it's it's just I'm not gonna elaborate on that. But yeah, I I, w I just really would. And and thing about it is in racing, um, you know, cars are gonna break, parts are gonna break. Hold on, hold on. Um, somebody say, hold on, hold on. Somebody say my car inconsistent. Dog, my car done fucking ran one time this year, <laughs> and I guarantee you that shit been faster than everybody shit else that ran this year. Man, stop, bro. <laughs> I'll post a goddamn time ticket in this motherfucker. Her feeling, boy, don't. boy, I'll stop, man. Yeah, Lord, let us get a time ticket. <laughs> <laughs> man, I do this, dude. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing Juice come back too. The rest of the year, you know that, right? Yeah, don't mess up the church's money. Do I want to see Juice come back too. Who? Juice. Juice. I think Juice. Um, never mind. And Tony Snow. Shit, He's man, what called him here? Tony coming. You know, Tony Snow got the uh the gold short bed that wrecked in Reynolds. Oh yeah, 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 man. I, I want to see that. This is the Black Dog Team Hollywood. Twenty four, twenty four K juice. Yeah, yeah, I know you're talking. About. I know what truck you're talking about. Texas, Texas guy. Yeah. 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 Uh, tomorrow he is racing uh Black Blur tomorrow. Who racing Black Blur tomorrow? Primo. Oh shit! I ain't know. I ain't know about that. Then. Yeah, they got to be in Orlando. Right there, there. Wait, where they racing it? Orlando. Oh shit! Oh, by the way, <laughs> it's gonna be a good race. Say what now? Top top will be live. Oh, okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tune in because I, I want to see that race there. Top top will be live from Orlando tomorrow, so there will be no show, but. Stop. I don't know. I may do a recap, but uh, mm -hmm. Stop Talk will be live tomorrow. So I would love to see yeah, him back out too. Me too. Who? Mm -hmm. Little man. Yeah, we haven't seen him in a. I'm gonna have to. I think man. we're gonna have to. I don't, think, I don't think little man be. I don't think little don't man think be on the racing like that, man. Little <laughs> man be too chill for that. Man. <laughs> he be too I really chill. Don't think for that, <laughs> he don't care. <laughs> yeah, man, he'd be too chill for that, man. I think we're gonna have to do a whole series of people who we haven't seen in a while. Where are they? Uh, yeah, where are they now? <laughs> where are they now? <laughs> Hensley, I appreciate you joining, uh, tapping in to let us know what's going on. So, anytime, uh, man, anytime. You, you said you'll be racing uh, this weekend near. In what what track is that? Yeah, I'm going back going back up north Louisiana to uh that's Twin City Twin City Motorsports, Twin City Race Raceway, something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, yeah, we putting the car on a uh, drag pack and go play with them radio boys. Okay. Well, if anybody's near there, y'all can catch Hensley this weekend. Also, he's got new merch he coming. <laughs> so uh, when can we expect the new merch, uh um Mr. Hensley? Hey, uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm say like after Christmas. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do everything after after Christmas. I ain't, I ain't gonna be able to do it before Christmas. I got too much other stuff going on. I'm gonna be in town, so it's gonna be after Christmas when I do the new merch. But I'm gonna post a picture of my new logo 
possibly tomorrow, like something like that, like tomorrow or something. Okay. Well, Mr. Hensley, thank you so much for tapping in with us. I appreciate it. Yeah, look, 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 at a track near us. Yeah, I wanted to come out there to, uh, look, whenever the next Big Ram show, look, hey, by the way, man, look, heads up. Next year, doing a, a $10,000 free entry Big Ram shootout. Hmm. April. I think I think it's April, April 22nd, I believe. April yeah. 22nd. You know that's, that's around Stuntfest time. Shit. Change your date. God. Well, maybe get with MJ and find out yeah, the date. Yeah, let, me, let me call MJ. Let me call. I'm going to call MJ tonight. You need to see. call him because MJ hadn't posted a date yet. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. call MJ and see. But it's going right. to be, be $10,000 uh, free. Mm -hmm. Okay, free. All right. So it's going to be it's going to be in Atmore, Alabama. And where Atmore? Yeah, it's, on, it's an eight mile track, and it's it's a it, track. It's a sticky track, super sticky. So it's gonna be an eight mile track. So I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do, like for the uh the slick guy, twenty four inch slicks, or just do like an all around big rim shootout on it. All right. Um. Oh yeah, we do smell you on this live, baby. This smell like you are. Hey man, right. look man, look. God bless y'all. Look man, I'm, I'm finna go, man. <laughs> <laughs> what up, got it? Oh, good. Listen, Kenzie, we not even gonna go into that story, but let yeah, me just tell man. you, whatever cologne that is you be wearing, you really, you really, you really should just start making a cologne and selling it. Cause I swear, Wait, I thought about it. I thought about it. We listen. We ain't trying to disrespect. You know, we ain't trying to disrespect. But listen, Ian, I want y'all listening to me real close. Please stop coming to the track smelling like black and miles, sweat, and track glue. I want you to come in there smelling like this man right here. This is the prime example of how you're supposed to smell when you come to the track. I know you right. got there hot. Y'all talking about y'all don't want us musty and smelling like that. Come out there smelling like a man. Okay? I, I, I want you to be to the point where you fool us. Where you smell good, you turn around and you ugly. Fool me. Okay? Come out there smelling <laughs> <laughs> Cause I tell you, I know what his. I smell you, and I promise you, that's. I know what his led. Every time I. Eat. Lord have mercy. And it's, and it's no disrespect. Just, just look. Listen, you, you got your man that smell good, sis. Good job. <laughs> y'all take a page from his book, please. Page, that's how he. That's how he got him. Exactly. He smelled good. <laughs> Hey, that ain't that. Hey, I, I, no, 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 just give me like that's my only uh attribute or something like that. You know <laughs> okay, Mr. Hensley, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, on that note, <laughs> thank you so yeah, much. Man, look, man, I'll see y'all next race season, man. You know, can't, can't wait to, can't wait to like show his new setup and see what's going on, man. Send me some extra long so I can food cook. Like. Carolina does, bro. Hey, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna see you what I be using, bro. Like you can't tell nobody though, dog. Like it's on special sauce, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Mister Hensley. We'll see you at the track near us pretty soon. All right, y'all, man. Y'all have a good yeah. night, man. Check your DM. All right. All right. Have a good one. All right. All right. So, Coco, anything uh, you wanted to catch us up on? I know you said tomorrow night you're not having shop talk. You you will be live from um, from Orlando for the Primo and um, Dump Master race, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, KP. These comments and, <laughs> and um, no. something else I was going to say. Oh, make sure that tomorrow night, since you'll be probably one of the only live that'll be live from there. You um post your pin your cash app. Yeah, so can, um, the person that'll be yeah the the person's cash app definitely will be pinned. Um, please make sure you show them some love, y'all, most definitely. But uh, after the race is over, we we'll we'll do a short recap um as to what happened. If anything weird happens, you know I'll be the first one to say something about it. So, saying mm. um, yeah. So, um, all planes will be prepped for the cars accordingly. Um, if you know, you know. Um, and nobody, 
you know, these two men didn't make no excuses about nothing. They they racing head up quarter mile pro tree. Um, eighth is eighth mile, I think. Eighth or quarter, eighth. Uh, pro tree. I can't remember on that part, but they racing head up pro tree. Um, <clears throat> trying to think. Oh, please let us not forget there are two major events going on next week, ladies and gentlemen. We have um, hold on, KP. Hold on. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We have PBR next week. P PB. I said it right. PRI. 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 <laughs> am I hungry? Like, am I thinking about peanut butter and something? <laughs> okay. So PRI is going on next week. Um, and for those of you that don't know, that is like the SEMA for race car parts. Performance race industry. Yeah, performance That's race it's... industry parts. Um, it's one of the one of the dopest shows ever. Um, and if you have privilege to go a just just go and learn something. Just be quiet and listen while you're there. Go do a lot of reading and pick up some game while you're there because there's some opportunities for you to make money in that place. Right. Um and then we have no guts, no glory going on from um the whole next week. Um <clears throat> you guys make sure you if if you aren't if you're unable to go to that event, make sure you go the No Guts, No Glory. At least get there on Saturday. Uh, it's it's No Guts, No Glory. This is year number 10. Right. And it's amazing. It's an amazing thing. So just please make sure you go. Um, it's a young lady. I forgot her name on Facebook, but she helps out with Baldi's car. She's in the family. She's giving out stickers for No Guts, No Glory 10. If you see her, please get a sticker. This is epic. This is history. Okay. Right. Um, and then on the 14th, I can't really right. see okay. details because I don't really know anything solid about it. But uh, December 14th, uh, there's an a private. Well, 14th, that's a Wednesday okay. in Orlando. In Orlando. From 12 to 5 is Bridgement Day. Yeah. So I, I don't know the details on it. So I don't speak on stuff. I don't know nothing about. I ain't been on live. I've been working. So. Um, it's support that it's hot rod event. Uh, so if you're with it, you're with it, just go, you know what I'm saying? Hundred dollars a pop to get in. Um, keep your cell phones at home. It's a you know, what I'm saying just that's I think, home, but I think they'll probably be going more into detail as the days go on. So you guys just make sure you continue to tune in. I don't know, but we do know the date is 12 14 and more details to come. Yeah, Coco. Thank you so much for co-hosting with me tonight. No problem. It was fun. It was fun having talking to you and Hansley. Um, I appreciate it. We got we got to do some stuff like this more often because oh, you know, I I really believe that you know we we all got to support each other. So for that for 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 co-hosting tonight, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right, so guys. If y'all missed any of today's episode of shot of oh, shot. Shop, shop talk times rise the vibes <laughs> make sure you tune into the youtube channel i'll have it uploaded in about the next 30 45 minutes i am kp of rise the vibes and this is i miss coco <laughs> shop talk. so we um we appreciate you guys tuning in and we will talk to you guys again soon All have right. a good night good night y'all <laughs>